All right, everybody, uh, we'll go ahead here and uh, give it a couple minutes for everyone to join. Uh, and we'll uh, join you guys in just a second. So I'm going to flip it to the uh, other camera for a moment. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started here in a moment. Alright guys, uh, looks like uh, we're uh, we're live now, and looks like I saw Chris just finished up. Uh, I know Jimmy and Kang Lee are going as well, so uh, quite a bit going on tonight, but uh, let's go ahead and see who's here. Uh, got Aquarium Thoughts, uh, got Chewy, uh, 4G Budget Fish Keeping's here, uh, Pet Sadix is in the house, uh, Big D Smoke, uh, Deborah Sanders is here. Uh, Chewy again. Uh, Candy is here, so thank you very much for moderating, Candy. So uh, I'm going to show you guys a little something here. So uh, I've been playing around uh, with some of the stuff here, uh, especially a second camera. Uh, so we've got uh, Pam's here. Uh, JH Aquatics is here as well. So hey, Joseph. So um, I was figured out how to make um, my cell phone into a camera. So let me go ahead here and I'll show you what I mean. So uh, that's the tank sitting next to me. So uh, that's the uh, one of my African cichlid tanks. Uh, so we got a ton of people coming in now. Uh, so uh, uh, Joseph doing well, how about you? Uh, got Melvin's here, um, Arnold's Fish Corner, uh, Pam, uh, Cichlids 23, uh, Daryl Deemer, so, uh, got a pretty full house here. So, uh, we are going to get the uh, slime doctors in here in a little bit. And, uh, but before that, uh, Vinovsky Tanks is here. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go on a little walk. So, what I can do now is I can take this, uh, um, uh, Shelby Ray is here. The Cove is here. So, uh, V Stag's here as well. So, uh, we're going to go on a little bit of a road trip. Oh, and I forgot. I got to put this on. So, let me flip the screen back. So, I picked this hat up the other day. I don't know. I think it's. Looking at it now, it looks a little lame, but uh, who knows. So, uh, kids went to the amusement park and. Uh, so I wore this around all weekend to kind of torment them, but uh, kind of fish varnish hat. So I'll go ahead and I'll take this off. We'll go for a walk real quick uh, in just a moment and take a look at some of the new fish. But uh, I do have some uh, some news to share as well. Uh, we did hit uh, 700 subscribers, so uh, really uh, appreciate the support from everyone. Fish farmer Mike. <laughs> Yes, uh, Jet H is here. So I want to thank the uh, community and everyone uh, who supported the channel. So uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, you know, we're going to you know, grow up slowly but surely. And so uh, we'll go ahead here and go ahead and talk about some of the new fish. All right, can you guys hear me first? Let's do an audio check. So hopefully you guys can hear me. We are now we'll shut the microphone off, and we are uh, now on the uh, other uh, camera. So let's go ahead now, and we will take a walk around the fish. So see there's an ethernet cable and the desk is still a little bit of a mess but this is the live streaming setup that we've got going on here so we got you guys up, up top with uh, Streamlabs 
All right, so uh, I've got the discus tank. So, okay, so uh, first fish we're going to take a look at here are the um, Aristochromus Christii. Uh, pigs up we go. Uh, they're going to get a lot bigger than this. They're sitting in a 10 gallon tank right now. So let's take a walk over to some of the other fish. Uh, as we walk by here, uh, this is the saltwater tank as it is right now. Uh, I've got the DIY background in it. Uh, I've got the substrate in it. We are going to fill it with water at some point, but I'm going to let the uh, dry lock cure. And then now uh, walking through here, uh, we do have a South American tank. Uh, unfortunately, I'm losing some fish out of here, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I did treat it for some diseases, uh, but let's go ahead here and uh, take a look here at some of the new fish that's over on this side. All right, so uh, these fish here are some uh, Gadeids. Uh These are the uh, Bard split fin, uh, Capilothictus, uh, Quastus maybe. Uh, got a location on that. I'll show you guys the, uh, the information there. I don't want to get the guy's phone number. Here is the uh, dual D, uh, which is a uh, I've got some more uh, Nairi. And then uh, we'll go ahead here and head over. Uh, it's still kind of under construction, so I apologize for the mess. And we'll go ahead and see, uh, head upstairs for a minute to see some of the other fish. Uh, some notable fish here. Uh, we've got some Skiffia here. Uh, some Skiffia francese. There's a bunch of fry, and there's some adults in here as well. And then let's head on upstairs. No, no! Um, no! We... Sorry, headphone users. All right, we have to. No, I have to go upstairs. Um. I'll. I won't look. All right. Did your fish die? The one, yeah, unfortunately. It's put away. No. I... All right. So we're going to get a clownfish shut up now. And so we can find some. Uh, there's one right there. He doesn't want to be on the camera. Right underneath the algae, there is a Mount Miller blank. It's right there. So let's see if we have any eggs. Guys, these are the uh, Santa Maria endlers. So I'll just color up briefly. Yeah, tell us where our eyes is so we don't go there. Where? I've hidden it. Oh, God. All right, so uh, heading back here. Uh, these are some uh, tiny uh, Limia tridents. So tiny ones there. Uh, these are some of my favorites. Like once I find them, they're hiding out in the back. But these are the um, metallic live bear. And of course, they go behind the filter while I'm here with the camera. Nice of them. So there they are. They come up through the back. So we'll get some better pictures of those. And uh, see what else we can find up here real quick. Uh, rest of it's just moved. Uh, we did create this space over here. Still needs some work on it. And then... Um, let's see if we find these trophies. They're all hiding in the rocks right now. All right. So. All right, let's see if there's anything else interesting to show you. So we've got the, uh, this is a mess here, but there's um, some Lelupi and, um, what are the other ones called? Ciprochromus leptosoma. And then uh, we've got uh, the Kraken and Lateralis over here, doing well. And then uh, you won't find the Limia Tridens in there, but they are, or the Limia Sulfurophila, but they're in here. And uh, 
So we've got down here, since we're here, I'll show you some more good ideas. Uh, these are the uh, Xenotoka Lion's Eye. And then uh, there are some fry in here as well. If you find them, they're all up in the weeds. Yes? Maybe. All right. All right, so yep, we'll go ahead and uh, head back downstairs. I think there's one more new fish I have to show you. All right, and then uh, we've got up here the uh, Alanacara Stuart Grante Chipoca. So, mm -hmm. uh, so, all right, so let me go ahead and here, put you guys back. All right, so let me, Alright, so uh, sorry I missed the chat, guys. Uh, that's the one I don't So we uh, did a little bit of a walkthrough, but I do. Uh... Alright, yeah, Deborah Sanders is here. Um, Shelby Ray's here. Let me see if there's any other questions. Uh, we was working with some Xenotoka Eyes and I. Uh, you got some back in the night. Yeah, I do have a Xenotoka Eyes and I in here. Um, I didn't. I, didn't, I walked by his tank, I didn't show him to you, but uh, I just have a female, and I'm hoping to get the fry. So, uh, the audio's breaking up. Oh, hold on. I gotta fix it. Is that better? So, uh, TM Aquatics is here. Hey, T. Hey, Tim, how are you doing? Uh, yep, yeah, hopefully uh, we'll get close to 1K here pretty quick. So, uh, let me see. Uh, what was the plan that looks like the dandelion leaves second from last tank upstairs? Um, Valley Fish, I'll have to go back and look. Not now. So, um... Max is here. How's it going? Uh, so, uh, let me see. What else we got here? Do they see the fish? Um, no, they can see the fish if I go to this. If I go to that screen. No, so that's the uh, dual screen. But if I go to that screen, they can see the fish. Um, can we go now? Can we do our challenge? Because I'm getting very bored. No, you should do our challenge. First. Yeah, you should do our challenge first. All right, no, you're doing, no. no you're doing our challenge Well, first. do we have to go upstairs? Do, you, well, do, do you we have to go upstairs? Yes. Well, we have to promise not to peek. Not to get our, our challenge, challenge is all our stairs. Fine, I, will, I won't peek. All right, so. Or you just turn the camera with off for me to bring it up and film. Well, no, you take the camera with, you're going to take the camera with you. Yeah, and then you stay down so, here. So, yes, I don't go with you in the challenge. Okay. So, let me go back to here. Can you, like, name the fish on a paper that we have to do? No, but you're going to get help from the audience, so you should probably go back. You have your phone on my stream. Turn your phone on my stream because you'll get... Want to uh, mess it up like right now? No. Cause you, you, you're, just, you're just a viewer on that phone. Because you're going to ask for some audience help. But I, am, but I have my account on this too. That's fine. So, okay. still here. So what fish are we trying to find? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to send you guys on a little adventure. To find a couple of different things. Can you tell us what we have to find? Well, that's where you're going to get some help. So you're going to take but the camera with you. How do they know what we're going to find? Because they know what this stuff is. Well, our data is slow, so it won't work. Find some duck weed. Oh, stop oh I me. know it. I think it, um... Hold on a second. Hey, you took the duck weed out of the goldfish. What's that? That's where you'll have to get some audience 
Here, you're on now. Oh. All right. So, sorry. The challenge is, uh, um, I'm gonna, I have a bunch of, I have five questions for the uh, children here to go find uh, in the fish tank barn. So um, I will flip it to the screen. And so what I'm going to do is give them uh, the camera and let them go find it. You got to turn the sound off. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm but it's not show, it's only show Katie. All right. I know what that weed is because you have some in here. So oh, we're going to go now and let them go find the uh, find the thing. Y'all, yes, when you found it. Are, are, well, I can see you and I'll know where you, when you found it. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go to the next topic here. Uh, okay, can everybody oh, put it on the phone on. so they can see it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Find some. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Find the Find the lightning maroon clownfish. What's this? Upstairs. Go, 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 No. Who? But these have shiny things in it. What about these? No, but they're not clownfish. Um, can you guys please hey, help HC, us? Hey, HC Aqua, how you doing? What? Um, okay. Is it, What's are that? they in this I was tank? saying hi to someone. Keep going. No? What about this one? Wait. Uh, not in this tank? Nope. This tank? Nope. This tank? Nope. Yes? You're getting close. This one? Uh, that would be it. We got it? Yep. Okay. That's cool. Alright, let's go try the next question. Yes, Chewy, what the heck? So, uh, finding the lightning maroon clownfish. We did it. All right, so we're going to go to the next question now. If I can get myself on the right screen. It's find one Mbuna species. What's that mean? It's an African cichlid. I don't know, yes, it's a little Ow! Oh, he has said downstairs. cichlids like a kajillion times. Cichlids, cichlids. Unless he rearranged on me, uh, I think I know what they are. Um, maybe I don't. What do they look like? Uh, no, I don't know. Yes. Remember like No. I don't this? know. They used to be over here. Did you rearrange? He did. He would. Like, no, okay, yeah, I think there are those ones over here, actually. Why is it so hot in here? This is fun for me. I can't find them. Are these? Uh, nope. That's a rainbow nope. fish. Keep going. Well, I know they look kind of like that, though. These? Nope. That's a good idiot. Keep going. No or yes? Let me see the phone so I can do the phone. 
Nope, keep going. Keep going? Yep. Oh boy, it's not today. New fish tour. Says it's long. No, um, no, haha. -ha. Max S said ha, ha Um, there's nothing in there, I don't think. So. Um, in here? Those? No. Look for something black in the There are a lot of about five inch long. Black and yellow. Go! Some yellow fish and some black fish, right? Black and yellow. Oh, that's blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Is it these? No, those? Yes, those are it right there. Those are some in Buna. Those okay. are purple ACI. So I was right. Say so thanks for the comments. Oh, thanks. Because I read it. Yeah, some of them the are uh, labeled candy. Some of them are. Oh, so the comments are good. I read some of them. Some black and yellow. Black and yellow. So, all right, let's get you the next question. All right, so find one live bear that is not a pusillin. Find one. What's that? What's that? Uh, it's a not pusillin. Like a live a, birth. Hey, Crystal, how are you? So a pusillin is very similar to a guppy. So find a live bear that's not a guppy. A live bear is like a like they need birth without eggs, right? Yes. That, that doesn't really help, but okay. So guppies. So something that's not yeah, a guppy. Mom said you didn't have you didn't have any study time. Oh, that's really um, okay, bring the chat. Hey, bring um, what, the, what do we look for? Tell us the colors, colors of fish. Oh, we just lost the bone. Colors. No. Uh, colors. Case. Dude, are discus live bears? They're downstairs. He's never breeded discus, so I don't know. Goldfish. Those are downstairs too. That doesn't mean anything. Is there anything downstairs? Is there anything downstairs? Yep. He, he said, yes. I think it's goldfish. Is it goldfish? No, goldfish no, are live bears. Right. No. Uh, that little dude up there? Up there? No. no. Keep, Keep going. going. What are the other live bearing fish? What live bearing fish are the other live bearing fish? Do you know? None. That's the point. You didn't have enough time to study. Okay. Okay. Which? Which? Um. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one. There? there? Uh, those are all pusillids. Bottom. Oh. Top is all pusillids. Oh, we bottom? lost camera. Oh, hold on, we lost camera. All right. Um. All right. Um. Look in one of those tanks tank over, over there. there. Um. Are these ones? Yeah. 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 Those are Yeah. 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 So, and this is going to need the audience participation for it, so. Oh, jeez. Alright, so this is the last question. Alright, find the one species in the fish barn that is extinct in the wild. And we what? talked about it. And we talked about it just recently. And it's, it's downstairs. Alright, I'm going to do a wild guess because since discus are expensive. No, nope, discus are not endangered in the wild. No. No, um, goldfish are there's, there's too many. many. <laughs> no. We talked about it on a... This is it! Those are the guys up there! Alright, remember, okay, remember, okay, okay there's, there's a clue, a clue here. here. Chewy, Chewy gave, gave you a clue. clue. Chewy, who's that? Chewy, Chewy LTD, LTD gave, gave you a clue. clue. And some, some of the tanks are labeled. labeled. So Chewy gave you a clue that's a Skiffia. Yes. So, so go, go look, look for the, the tank, tank that says Skiffy on it. Someone's saying they're upstairs. No, they're no, not they're upstairs. upstairs. They're, they're down, down here. here. Is the tank that has something on it? Alright, that little number labeled. Go to the tank that are labeled. That's this one! You're, You're close. close. Um, that's this one! 
You have to read it, dude. Half right here. It's this it's one. This one. Yep. yep. Look. Yep. yep. Give your friend Susie is the one that is uh, in danger. All right, you guys finished? All right. So uh, let's, let's pop, pop up. up. Um, all right, so, so then the top drawers are dry. Okay. So if you pull that out. Oh, oh yeah, they seem oh. big. Oh, they're same. All right, Candy, that should fix it. There's Narwhal. Narwhal. So open it up and show them. Yeah, we'll put the camera back. All right, can I do your can I do your challenge next week? We've already already at 927. Yeah, we can do our challenge. No, oh, you're saying next week. It'll be fast. No, please, it's I'll fast. do it fast. Yeah, so Candy, what I have to do is I have to turn the audio on and off. So. Well, she is very slow rising. Oh, so there's the narwhals. So, uh. All right, so you, let me do your challenge and I'll do it. What do I have to do? Okay, Chelsea, where'd you put the pen? I hope, I hope you are studying. I hope you're studying. Because you know our slime segment stream. we gave last week? Okay. Now you, you kind of got to name some slime ingredients. Well, you have to name that some is, slime accessories. You have to write so, it here. Use it and let me write it on the direction. paper. There's going to be four questions upstairs. Well, they're not really questions. They're pictures. And you're, and they're not, you don't see the pictures. So you're going to hold the picture, and there's two question twos, because I actually did that. You're going to flip it over, and you're going to look at the thing. And you're going to guess, and you're going to say what it is. And it's not multiple choice. All right, so I'm going to take... All right, let's go. So there will be a number on your question. What the heck? Something just fell over there. It's a good claw. What? So a cloth just like fell over there. Oh, it's okay. So, um, and yes, you guys can help if you want to, if you remember. Timer. All right. So it depends how many seconds. If, because some of them are easier than others, so he'll have less time. Which one are you so, going to first? And then don't flip it over until. Just go. You feel what you have to wait. Here, grab question that one over there. Do this one. But wait a minute. I have to set the timer. Don't flip it wait, yet. Wait, wait. Don't flip it yet. No, I'll give him a minute. All right, let me get 60 seconds on the clock. He This is the slime channel, I remember. 59 seconds on the clock. It's 59 minutes, Oh, God. Wait, Dad. Here, what do I see? Do you want Katie, one minute. Okay. You don't need to go through seconds. It's one minute. There you go. 
All right, my camera back. Oh, you have one more. Oh, where? Right. Wait, it fell. That was about fell. Okay, well, mm. um, I'll give you a hint. You have ten seconds. Sparkly? It's glitter? Yeah, glitter. Yeah. I didn't even... All right. All right. All right, we're going to head on back now. All right, wait. Depends. It's yours. Trevor, you're going to be the camera. I don't know where you're going to be the camera. That's right here. I'm going right. to grab them all, and we will be back. All right. Well, here it is. Guys, <laughs> door snake head. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, it's good. all right, so I'm back here. This screen. All right. So uh, back here. Um, all right. Uh, more echoes. Okay. Let's get the camera situated. So this is the uh, first, first time, time doing, doing this. this so so there's going to be a little, little bit of, of uh, hiccups. hiccups. So, so uh, sorry, sorry for, for the, the, delay the delay there. there. So, so we'll, we'll get, get to, to the, the uh, questions, questions of the week, of the week now, now from, from uh, Facebook. Facebook. All right. All right. So, so uh, first, uh, first question, question of the, of the week. week. Is uh, how, many how many wave, wave makers, makers for a 90 gallon tank, tank with African cichlids? So, so. Still, Still echo? echo? All right, All right hold, hold on. on. Oh, missed. All right, that should fix it. All right, so how many wave makers for a 90 gallon uh, with African cichlids? Um, I would say, depends how you're running it. If you run an airstone, you could need zero. Uh, if you run a, uh, I don't even want to call it. So if you, if you don't run like an airstone or uh, you might need one or two. So, uh, you really uh, need to, uh, you know, it depends on how you set up your tank. I mean, you can use your return. I mean, it, it's, you know, it's a variety of different options. So, uh, Patricia, do you got a question? Um, yeah, you don't have to use wave makers at all. I mean, you can use air stones. I mean, salt water, if you're doing corals and stuff, you might want to use wave makers, but uh, you don't have to. So. So, it's one of those ones, uh, kind of uh, do whatever you need to. All right, uh, next question here. Uh, the next two are going to be pretty related here. Uh, so, this one is, hello, um... How do I do water changes more effect efficiently? I'm currently emptying my 55 gallon with five gallon buckets and it's really time consuming. Uh, definitely uh, something that I'm not, uh, I don't really do anymore. So uh, my opinion, uh, we're gonna go to the next post and then I'm gonna take the uh, camera with me again. I can show you um, how I change water. But uh, someone posted this today on Facebook and I thought this was awesome. So uh, the hose reel uh, with the uh, filters on it, uh, the hose. So uh, definitely some pretty cool stuff. Uh, Turbo Fish is here. How's it going? So uh, we're going to pull the camera again. So let me get uh, get things rolling here. 
and uh, go back to the first question on how I do water changes. So this is one of the reasons I wanted to set this up. Was a question like this, I can take the camera and we can go for a walk and I can show you how I change water. So some of you guys may have seen this before. But if you walk back here to the uh, menagerie of plumbing, so uh, this bucket here is uh, fresh water, and then this is um, I call it um, deionized for salt water. So it's kind of uh, we're in the mess of chemicals here. But what I'll show you what happens here is uh, so this right here is a uh, Basically, it's a hot water pump that pumps the water in from the house. Uh, there's a line buried uh, downstairs uh, or in the ground, uh, which is, uh, I have heater, heater cable on it as well as it's insulated uh, to uh, protect it from the winter. And then uh, basically this cable goes to all the way over here to a, uh, this is basically used to be an RO unit. I took the RO off. I really hate the wastewater. So uh, this basically has uh, two uh, sediment filters, a uh, carbon filter to get rid of the chlorine. And then that feeds the freshwater tank that's here. And then uh, this is the DI resin. Uh, I gotta change pretty soon. And then that feeds the saltwater side. So it's basically a push system. And then uh, about three times a day, uh, this is hooked up to the uh, Neptune Apex, which is up here. And so basically we run water into these tanks three times a day uh, through various methods. Uh, so this one is fed with a T right here. Uh, goes all the way down here. Uh, see that one will feed it into the sump. Now you won't be able to see this, but there's a drain that's right there. Uh, drains outside basically. And that's how we change water here in the barn. So this one's a better example, but this is the uh, drain right here. And then I got something leaking over here. I gotta figure out what that is. But, uh, so uh, get you guys situated again. So, chaotic but all right so it's a little chaotic but uh, that's uh, that's kind of what we got so a uh, chewy uh, 155 gallon tank time consuming for a water change how I yeah, haven't helped people if they lived in the 60s or 70s yeah I mean for me it's not really lazy uh, hey dr. black it's more of a, I don't like carrying water around. Um, it's basically a time thing. I mean, I have two kids like you've seen, and it's a time saver. You know, I could take a, I could take, you know, a python and go around here, every single tank, you know, but there's 70 tanks in here almost now. So that's not really going to work. So, so that's uh, kind of what we got here. So, what do you guys think of the camera? That was kind of, I think that's kind of a good, uh, a good way to kind of enhance the stream a little bit. Uh, take a look at some of the stuff that's going on. So, you know, and plus we could always just do uh, the fish thing, right? So, I mean, I can go down here and you guys can watch the fish as well when I'm talking. So, uh, definitely, uh, you know, you can see all the, the cichlids that are sitting next to me. So, it's kind of a fun way to, you know, and then we can do projects too. If I want to show you guys how to drill a tank one time, I can pull the, uh, I can pull, uh, you know, I can take the camera with me, drill a tank, and uh, we're good to go. So...
So rounded rob, that's not going to work. Um, oh, and I think Tampa Tom had a question, which I missed. So, obviously there needs to be some more flawless execution, but we'll get there. So, I think I did miss a question from... So yeah, Chewy, Matt did develop the Lightning Maroon. Um, let's see, I think I missed somebody's question. Uh, Valley Fish, uh, the plant with the dandelion leaves, second from the last tank upstairs. All right, let's go take a look at that. Oh, and they dropped stuff on the ground. Yeah, so I do have to work a little bit on the execution of this, just to make it, uh... So I can change the audio between the two a little bit easier. Uh, because you have to use the phone. So we'll take a walk around here real quick. And I'll show you guys anything else that, uh, isn't, uh, clear. I mean, like I said, the barn is a little bit, uh... In a disheveled state at the moment, but we're getting there. So uh, these guys are uh, um, uh, zero obliquidants. We're not going to do these. Uh, so these are the uh, purple ACI. Uh, some uh, there's some yellow labs in here that didn't that I didn't catch to go in the pond, and then there's a couple uh, peacocks in here as well. Uh, this is the Pundamelia nyerii group. Um, it looks like we may even have a holding female right there. So one of these days I'll actually have to strip the eggs from these guys. But I've got like a boatload of males. You see here? There's just a ton of males in here. And then I won these plants at the local club. I don't know if I like them or not. But maybe the fry will hide out in them. See? So. Um, second to last tank. All right, I think this is some sort of uh, of crypt, I think. I like buy plants and then I don't remember what they are. Like I'm as good as I am at labeling a lot of the fish, uh, the plants, not so much. Um, not sure, but uh, um, this is Bacopa. This, this right here is Bacopa. Um, in the algae, there is some, uh, uh, it's, um, I can't remember. and then, uh, down here, um, a lot of this is, um, it's either like guppy grass, um, Pablo Stem and Gai, or, um, that's pretty much it. So these guys are pretty cool. These are a uh, Gadea atropinus. Uh, actually, need to move these guys to a bigger tank at some point. So I do like to keep a lot of these Gadeas and algae, just so I can keep the fry. These guys like to eat all their fry. So if you look up here, there's a little fry right there that uh, you can take a look at. So, and then uh, in here, these fish are pretty cool. These are. Back when your test so okay. Oh, I got 24% on my test. Here. Out of 100. Not very good. Alright, so if we can find them. Alright, we'll throw some food in here and we'll see, uh, see if we can find them. Yeah, we lost it. See if we can coax them out. But these are uh, Haplochroma species, blue liquid. Let's see them come out. So 
that's the male right there, there in the back. Yeah, glass isn't very clean. I apologize. Uh, let's talk you guys look at a couple of these. This is the uh, Crack It On Ladder S. Um, so some of these guys are colored up pretty nicely, actually. And then this is uh, the Pogostem and Gai, which is, I gotta trim that back. And then uh, down here is another Skiffia. This is Skiffia Multipuntata. It's down here. So we have a boatload of fry floating around in here, too. I'm not seeing her, I did anyway. All right. All right, so um, let me see if I can show you the metallic live bear again. He's like hiding out in the back. What I don't like. All right. Apparently they're not going to cooperate. But uh, we do have a ton of endlers. Like these guys have gone kind of gangbusters. These uh, Santa Maria's. So let me show you a little bit. So that's one of the males right there. So um, they colored up pretty nicely. Some of them. And I'll have to go through here at this point. Yeah, the video quality is not good. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, go ahead back down here. And then uh, we've got the discus tank here. So I'm not sure what that plant is. It's I think it's a bulb plant. I'd have to look. All right. All right, let's see. All right. So looks like quite a bit of chat came as uh, when I was around. All right, so Kendall's here. Um uh, Otter, Creek, Otter Creek Aquatics is here. Hey, Kendall, how are you doing? Congrats on the 1,000 subs. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I think it's a Ponageaton Christmas now that uh, now I think about it. Oh, yeah, the audio crapped out, I think, when I went upstairs a little bit. Um, let me see. This is bigger than the rest. So, uh, cichlids are, uh, looks like uh, Otter Creek is at work. Um, it's 23, okay. Uh, how many gallons of water are in the barn? That's a good question. And, um, all right, well, let's try to do the math real quick. So, 150, 200, um, we'll call that another 75, 275, Um, I it's too many. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out one day. Um, there's a little bit under seven. I think there's like 66 tanks I counted. So, uh, so the fish you're looking at now, uh, just so you guys know, it's the, uh, um, these are, uh, basically a group of, uh, electric blue alis, and then also in here are some, uh, pseudochromus, uh, species hong eye as well as the um, 
Uh, there's a there's some uh, Alnacara Ethelwayni as well. So, yeah, Candy. Unfortunately, uh, I'm sorry about your uh, your flowers. So, uh, I got 20 on. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we are about eight minutes left. So, uh, so Tuesday night's gotten pretty full now. Uh, I remember when I started this back in uh, November, there was not a whole lot of people streaming. Um, I think it was me and then, like, really uh, no one else. But uh, Dr. Black is next. Uh, he comes from uh, Australia. So, and then before me, uh, you have um, Chris from Multi Tank Addiction. And then you also have um, Susan from SLC Aquatics at 7 Eastern. So you get, uh, you throw out with Susan, uh, you hit up uh, Chris, and then uh, I go at 9, and then uh, you've got uh, Dr. Black, uh, who's going at 10. And then um, I think you got Pam, uh, is going, uh, goes tomorrow, uh, after uh, uh, heading into the work, heading into work. Okay, uh, so uh, Turbo Fish is heading into work. I don't know about the sweet song of my voice. I don't know if I have a uh, voice for radio or not. Um, I always like to listen to like the sports radio show now. You know, like if I ever had commercials, like you play the music afterwards. So, um, yeah, so Pam's tomorrow after Corey. Uh, check out Dan's Fish as well. Um, he goes uh, nine nine o'clock uh, on Wednesdays, but awesome stuff as well and then uh, obviously you got the Sunday group with JH Aquatics uh, D from Down the Wormhole um, Aquafunk um, Susie Q and then uh, uh, King, Queen Cichl uh, Queen, uh, King and Queen Cichlids as well until it's late can't talk anymore so uh, thank you guys uh, definitely for putting up with the uh, slime doctors. Uh, they did a good job though uh, finding the fish. So uh, we are working on getting the barn cleaned up here a little bit. But uh, um, Rounded Rob, do I get from uh, well or city water? Uh, so this is from uh, this is from uh, city water. Uh, so it's uh, basically um, everywhere around here. I'm uh, in the metro Detroit area. So everything around here is um, basically Great Lakes. It's pretty hard. Uh, if you want, actually, we'll go test it right now. I can, uh, we'll go grab the test strip and go test one just for the heck of it. Because I'm uh, actually, I'm curious. So I'll be right back. All right. All right. So, uh, all right. Let's see what we got for the water. Something I've wanted to do, and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So, thank you for asking, Rounded Rob. All right. So, if you look at the test strip. Alright, so it looks like our hardness is about 150. Uh, alkalinity is around 40. And then... Um, I'd say we got about 8 from pH. Yeah, we're definitely not soft.
So, uh... So, uh, let me see, um... Yeah, we're in a pretty good area, like African cichlid water. Um, this is kind of why it's cichlid town here. Uh, let me look at the chat here. Uh, wife at the time dropped the ball, so all the friend was doing refi. She didn't follow up. Uh, sorry about that, cichlids 23. It doesn't sound good. Uh, Otter Creek wants to get uh, streaming again. Um, not so many spots open. I mean, honestly, at this point, I mean, there's so many people live streaming. I would just pick a time that works for you and go. Um, I always looked at it this way. Um, if there's someone else going the same time as you, I mean, one, you know, there's enough people watching that, you know, maybe someone, you know, likes your channel versus, um, someone else's channel. Maybe you connect with them differently. I mean, for example, I mean, I thought at first, I thought Dan was crazy to, to live stream at the same time Corey did, but it seems to have worked out for him. Um, I think, you know... And he still gets a fair number of people that go over there. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, honestly, pick a time and go. Um, I mean, I wouldn't try to go when Corey goes, but Dan made, Dan's made it work. I think he's got a big enough channel where I think he can carry it a little bit. Um, but, I mean, pick, uh, yeah. Um, so, Otter Creek, I'm in Metro Detroit. Uh, so we've got basically uh, water from the Great Lakes. I think ours comes from uh, Lake Huron, actually. But, uh, yeah, ours is like 8.2 to 8.4. Uh, but ours is pretty hard. I think it's, it was between 150 and 300 if you look at the test strip. Uh, so uh, Dawn Michelle's here. How's it going? Um, thank you for coming by. I think we're about to wrap up because... Uh, um, Uh, yeah, sorry, Cichlids 23. It's a, it's a tough one. So, uh, Max is listening to Corey on the podcast. Yeah, Corey's good for that. Like, I put Corey in all the time at work. So. All right. Uh, so, it looks like um, Dr. Black's about ready to go. So, um, I'll go ahead and uh, jump off here so you guys can go head over there. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, stay fishy. Keep on breeding, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Oh, hey, Don's here. Hey, how are you? Oops. I'll give it a minute here, just in case. So, you guys finish up, and we'll go ahead and uh, shut her down.